Yo ninjas, I'm Kayo and welcome to this new tutorial where I'm gonna teach you the elbow freeze. If you haven't seen them, watch the previous tutorials that I made. Links in the description. The elbow freeze is very common and very important and you need to learn it on both arms. I'm gonna start with the right elbow but then let's try it also on the other side. You can also try it with both elbows on the floor. This is a variation that is not really needed in breaking but if you wanna learn it, it could still help you to get even more control. So first thing, start on your knees. Lift both of your hands in front of you, not too wide, not too close, but kind of like this. Then lean your hands on the floor and bend the right arm, so in this way. In this way you will have the perfect hand position, because if you start directly on the elbow, you don't know exactly where to put the other hand. But if you start like this, you put both of your hands on the floor and you lean the elbow on the floor, you already start in the correct position. If you want, you can move a little bit your left hand backwards, kind of like this, but don't move it in front of you like this, or maybe on the side, because if you move it in this way, it will be too close like this, or too far away like this, and like this also, it will be too far away, but if you put it a little bit backwards, it's still good for the control. So again, from here, lean your hand, lean your elbow, and then if you want, you can move this hand a little bit backwards. Then from here, you will lift up your hips like this and your knees from the floor. And your head is gonna go closer to your right bicep. So from here, your head is going like this. In this way, one, two, and three. From here, you should lift up your left foot from the ground first. So from here, just lift up the left foot, like this. When you feel comfortable in this position, try to do little hops, kind of like this. And then when you feel comfortable with these little hops, try to stay in the position, try to push a little bit harder and try to control your body and don't make your legs fall immediately. So as you can see, I'm kinda doing it slowly. Another good exercise to learn how to control your legs while they are in the air is to switch your legs in the air. If you start lifting up the left one and you always land or jump with the right foot, this time we are gonna switch the legs in the air and we are gonna lean with the left leg. So from here, I'm gonna lean with the left. Then I'm gonna change and do it again. When you are able to do this exercise slowly, now it's time to figure out in which position you wanna go for the elbow freeze. You can do it in different positions or forms with your legs. I mean, you can stay straight with your legs like this, kinda like a handstand, or you can put your legs like this, or one straight and one bent, or the other straight and the other bent, or both legs open, or both legs like this. At the beginning, I recommend to practice this position here. I mean this one. Because it's the most natural position to start with. Since you are pushing with the, with the left leg in the air, your left leg just stays on the back like this and the right leg just stays in front of you. So you are in this position here with your legs in the air like this. So you don't really need to move your legs too much. So from here just push and stay. Then if you want you can try with your legs straight. Push your legs straight. And then try also different positions. Legs open, legs crossed, both legs bent together as you prefer. But the important thing now is to try on the other side. Same thing, start like this. Put both of your hands on the floor. Lean your left elbow this time. If you want, move your right hand a little bit closer to you, not too much. And then, this time we're gonna use the right leg to kick. So right leg is kicking up, the left foot is jumping. So like this. You learn how to do the freeze on both sides, now it's time to learn how to control the freeze and how to hold it for a long time. The most important thing to learn how to control your freeze 
is to be able to control your whole body. But how to do it? Let's start with your hands. When you put your hands on the floor, you should use your fingers like this. Imagine to grab the floor and your fingers will make you feel more stable. So first thing, control your fingers. Second thing, your arm. In this case, the right arm, if you are staying on the right elbow, make sure that there is not so much angle between this part of the arm and your torso, your body. So if you stay like this, for example, it's harder to control, but if you stay more like this, it's easier because you form a straight line, kind of like a handstand. Don't stay with your head too much like this or with your arm or with your shoulder, shoulder too low, like this, because like this is very hard to control. But instead, if you stay with your hand closer to your bicep and you make sure that your shoulder is in this position forming a 90 degree line, kind of like a L here. So kind of like this. As you can see, I'm also using my fingers. Third important thing to hold the position, try to control your legs and also your feet. Don't relax your legs, so your legs should not be too relaxed, also your feet, but keep your feet tense and your muscles tense, control it. If you do these three things, use your fingers. Make sure that the line between your right hand and your torso is straight and you make sure to control your legs, then it's gonna be way easier to control it. It's not something that you learn immediately, like in one day, but it's something that you should practice a little bit for some weeks and then you learn it. If you already can do some other freezes, like the side freeze or the headstand or even the handstand, it's gonna be way easier. But if you don't know how to do other freezes, you can still learn this freeze, the elbow freeze, as your first freeze, but it will take longer time to learn it. And remember, same thing on the other side. Now, last thing, if you want, you can try it with both elbows on the floor. So, like this. So, to do it, you just need to form a triangle with your elbows, like this, and put them on the floor. And then, your head should be in the middle of the triangle. If you want, you can stay with your head straight, or if, if you want, you can watch your hands, kind of like this. It's up to you how you feel more comfortable. So from here, just lift up your legs and do the same. Try to jump a little bit until you feel comfortable and try to go up. If you feel afraid to push your body up, both in the right elbow freeze in the left one, but also in this one, you can try it on the wall first. Like a handstand on the wall, the same thing. And also try the elbow freezes on the wall. So you will not fall on the other side. Instead, if you want to practice without the wall or you don't have a free wall to practice with, just push slowly at the beginning. Don't push too, too strong. So from here, don't push too strong, but just slowly like this. And gradually try to hold it a little bit more. until you feel like you can hold it for like one, two or three seconds. And then from here, just try to tense your muscles and try to hold it even more. If you have any question, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want me to follow you with your progress, check out my Patreon link in the description. Also, if you want, check out my merch, link in the description and see you next week with another tutorial. Yo, ninjas!